Hello, Jello. Hi there, Grizzly Bear. How are you, Caribou? I'm fine, Porcupine. What's up, Buttercup? Not much coconut. This is how our day begins. Nice to see you, Tortilla. Hi, hi, Pumpkin Pie. How you been, Dolphin? Just gray rattlesnake. What's shaking, little bacon? Not a lot, tater tot. This is how our day begins. Bonjour, dinosaur. Good day, blue jay. Howdy, brownie. Welcome, bubble gum. Hola, cola. You who tennis shoe. This is how our day begins. My friends, I thought that it would be fun to sing that song again because this week we're doing rhymes. So last week we did some tongue twisters and this week we're gonna do rhymes. So right here I've got a clock and a lock. They both end in the sound awk. Can you think of any other words that end in that sound awk? Clock lock, block, say clock, lock, block, clock, lock, block, good job, clock, lock, block, sock, clock, lock, block, slop, sock, <laughs> that's why rhymes can sometimes be tongue twisters too, right, clock, lock, block, sock, those are our rhymes for today. I wonder if you can think of any other words that rhyme with clock, lock, block, or sock. Let me know. All right, my friends, today is a big day because we are gonna fill up two 10 frames, a double 10 frame with the number 20. Let's count 20, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We did it. We're in the 20s now. All 20s start with two. Two and a zero is two tens and zero ones. 20. All right, we're gonna write it on our board in our double 10 frame, okay? Let's do, let's count, ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Let's go to the next one. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wow. How do we make a 20 again? Do you remember how many tens? Two, two full 10 frames, right? So it looks like this, a two. And how many extra ones do we have? None, zero. Two and a zero is 20. How do you write 20? Two and a zero, two tens and zero ones, 20. All right, now we're gonna build 20 on our double 10 frame. Let's count. Oh, all my pennies fell. Hopefully I still have 20. Ready, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We have two full 10 frames and that is 20. What number? 20. Okay. Now we're gonna do our chant, okay? 
Let me get my cards out. We'll do it slow to start because we're adding 20 in there and then we'll go a little faster, okay? One and one, make 11 fun. One and two, tell 12 what to do. One and three, send 13 up a tree. One and four, make 14, shut the door. One and five, keep 15 alive. One and six, make 16, pick up six sticks. One and seven, send, send 17 to heaven. One and eight, make 18, great. One and nine, make 19, shine. And two and zero, make 20, a hero. Wow, we're done with our chant. Let's do it again, okay? One and one, make 11 fun. One and two, tell 12 what to do. One and three, send 13 up a tree. One and four, make 14, shut the door. One and five, keep 15 alive. One and six, make 16, pick up sticks. One and seven, send 17 to heaven. One and eight, make 18 great. One and nine, make 19 shine. And two and zero, make 20 a hero. Wow, you got through all of your numbers in your chant. We're gonna keep doing this chant for a few more days just so we can get it in our head because that really helps us remember our teen numbers. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys, we're gonna read this book on flower gardens. A lot of you guys are gonna be planting, um, your families might be planting flowers or vegetables. It's getting to be that time of year now that it's spring. Flowers grow in flower gardens. Some gardens have a mix of flowers. Some have only one kind of flower. Tulips grow in spring. Tulips come in many colors. Snapdragons grow in the summer. Each flower looks a little like a dragon's head. Astros grow in the fall. Each flower has many petals. Marigolds live for only one year. Flowers that live only one year are called annuals. So that means after the year they die. And you would have to plant them again if you wanted them. Daylilies come back year after year. Flowers that come back year after year are called perennials. So you plant them one time and they grow forever and ever. That end. I hope you guys liked it. Hi friends, it's Miss Major. Today I'm going to be singing a kite song about spring, okay? Here we go. Five little kites high up in the sky. The first one said, look at me fly. The second one said, watch me soar. The third one said, let's do it some more. The fourth one said, let's go for the sun. The fifth one said, it's springtime fun. Then whoosh went the wind and it blew all the kites. Then they danced in the sky and they flew out of sight. I hope you like that song. Bye guys. Hi friends, Miss Buckley here and I'm here to talk about the letter of the day. Today's letter is S. S says S like snake. Can you say the sound that S makes with me? S says S. Good job. It's our skinny sound. All right. To make the letter S, you need to start at the tippy top. You're going to go around. Curve. Curve again. S. And it's the same thing for a lowercase s, just smaller. So we're going to start at the top. Curve around and curve around. S. S says S. I'm wondering if you can think of anything that starts with the letter S or the sound S. I have a star. Star starts with S. I also have a pair of scissors. Scissors start with S. In the summer we wear these when it's nice and warm and it's getting there. We wear Sandals. Sandals start with S. 
And when it's not warm out, we wear shoes. Shoes is tricky because it doesn't say s, but shoe starts with s. When we wear shoes or sneakers, we wear socks. Socks start with s. We also wear shirts. Shirt is another one that starts with the letter s. Can you think of anything else that starts with the letter S? Let us know. Thanks friends, I'll see you soon. Hi friends, Miss Buckley taught you your letter of the day today, right? What was it? It was S and S makes the S sound. Can you make that sound with me? S -s -s. Great job. Remember, when we make an S, if we make it on the line, both the uppercase is big, curve, and then snake back around. And the lowercase also sits on the line. S. All right, let's read our book of the day. There's the letter S, sand. Sand. Sand is in my hat. Ooh. Sand is in my towel. Yikes, that's not a comfortable feeling. Sand is in my shoes. Sand is in my bag. Well, that's what happens when you're at the beach. Sand is in my socks. Sand is in my shirt. So much sand. That's our letter S book. Bye.